As Glasgow gets ready to host Commonwealth Games 2014, headlines today now takes you down the memory lane when New Delhi rolled out the red carpet for athletes from the Commonwealth countries. The 2010 Games gave India more than the country expected a record number of medals and new stars who made our flag fly high. Take a look. 38 gold medals. 27 silver, 36 bronze. 101 medals in all. That's what made the 2010 Commonwealth Games special for India. This was the first time ever that the Indian team had hit a century in the 76-year-old history of the Games. It was Team India all the way. Shooting, wrestling, boxing, archery, tennis, table tennis, badminton. There was a rush for medals. But what was really refreshing was the achievement in gymnastics and athletics. Ashish Kumar became a household name overnight. Not to forget the Indian women's 400-meter relay team that grabbed gold when most had given up at home. The 2010 Games also saw the emergence of the Indian archery team from an also ran to an international force to reckon with. And leading the pack was Deepika Kumari, the girl who rarely missed the mark. That what makes the 2010 Commonwealth Games special for India. New champions, new frontiers crossed, new milestones achieved. And yes, there were the old war horses who were back doing what they do best. Gagan Narang won four gold medals. Omkar Singh and Vijay Kumar won three gold and one silver. But before all that, Delhi saw the worst of sports administration. Venues ran way behind their cut-off date. There were controversies, allegations of corruption and financial irregularities. Allegations of nepotism, allegations of overspending and much, much more. Four years have passed since then. Delhi has seen it all. The city has seen marked changes from metro services to flying flyovers. From lush greenery to parks to relax. There is the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium, Yamuna Sports Complex, City Fort Sports Complex and many, many more to remind the world that not long ago, Delhi too played host to more than 6,000 athletes from 71 countries. But if there is one image that will remain forever etched from 2010 is what the Indian women achieved in this throw. Seldom has gold, silver and bronze been achieved by our country. And that is exactly what Krishna Punya, Harvant Kaur and Seema Antil did for India. Sports Bureau, headlines today.